today I am kind of doing like a me day and I wasn't going to record it and I still don't know if I am technically even though I'm doing this right now I don't think it's going to be in detail like it's not going to be like a my spa day routine it's basically like I'm not going to be explaining much you're just going to see what I'm doing like today I plan on shampoo and conditioning my hair I'm thinking about doing the effigy protein treatment i haven't done in a while the two-step one What's the two-step one i think i'm gonna do this and then i'm going to get myself a pedicure and a manicure let me show you the polish i got oh my gosh i know i said i wasn't explaining but i gotta show you this okay so i got this dollar tree for the toes and then I got, ooh, this one for the nails, the hands or whatever. And then, so I'm going to do a pedicure, manicure, well, kind of a manicure, not really. Um, My hair, a mask, exfoliate my lips, uh, yeah, and do this, make me a scrub for my lips. This is my outfits. I've been to the store already. I went to Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart. I think that was it. Let me show y'all some of the stuff I got for my spa day today. I'm so excited. I got this from Target. It was like, I usually get like the reusable razors but i'm tired of doing that because i just feel like okay i'm wasting my money how much was this oh this was 9.99 but it comes with a razor two five five blade cartridges and a shower holder and then the refills are like you get four in a pack for like 8.99 so that's really good so i'm going to try this then if it's good then i let babe know and then we'll get her one um I got the tarot and rose gold. I really like that color. Then I've used this before. Loved it. Went to Walmart to get it. Didn't have it. Had it today. Had to scoop it up. Then I hear everybody freaking talk about the Tree Hut sugar scrubs. So I got the Marula and Jasmine. It smells so good and light. I was gonna get tropical mango, but I was like, mm, that smells too childish. Smells too teenage bath and body works is ish. I ain't like that. Um, and I have used this scent of Epsom salt before, but I have regular standard Epsom salt in there, so I'm just gonna use that and then use this as the bubble bath y'all this is so far um it smells so good i haven't used the bubble bath one in this scent i think i've used it in a different one before but can you say relax and then i also got the body oil to go with it because when i get out the shower i do i am dry and i like to use coconut oil but sometimes i don't and then when i use the lotion i just feel like it doesn't last long enough so i'm gonna put this on before i get out the shower and i know i'm gonna be nice and moisturized and then shout out to my girl shantae because she put me on to this i had this one lost it so i decided to get the three pack peppermint yum berry and vanilla honey i had vanilla honey before loved it first of all these are great for african-american people or people of color or people that have like larger lips because the lip balm let me open it the lip balm which one do i want to use first babes at work hold on um i'm gonna go with yum berry you see how big and wide the, um, hold on, let me take this little sticker part off. Big and wide the actual lip balm is. 
covers more of your lip than the standard lip balm okay yeah. oh this smells so good and these are natural y'all i think that's why i love them so much like it has ingredients in it that i can read it doesn't feel harsh it keeps your lips moisturized like i only use this in carmex to be honest like yeah mm. smells good what is the brand so y'all can get some mango kiss is the brand and i got it from walmart oh and the organic Woo! love y'all get that but yeah honestly i am in big need of this like spa day that I'm about to do myself because lately I just haven't been doing much because of quarantine. Like I told my I told my partner and then my mom and sister the other day, like y'all, I haven't combed my hair in three days. Like yesterday was like the first day that I put some product in it and like tried to do something. Like I haven't really been doing anything to it. So I'm definitely gonna do my hair and I'm not depressed or anything. I guess I just been kinda like not worrying about it so much but then i do realize that like it kind of gets me into this lazy spirit where i stop doing a lot of things for myself like the other day i was like let me shave my legs like just because i don't have any nair that doesn't mean i can't still shave my legs so i got some shaving cream the other day and now i have these razors i had like the throwaway kind but i'm like let me in let me get like a good razor it's so crazy y'all because a lot of times i will do like this is something that came up the other day when i was talking to babe it was like i will do a lot of things for, for other people but i won't do like simple things for myself like oh i won't get that razor or oh no i won't i won't um get organic this because oh somebody something's coming up or i need to get this for somebody or i'll just wait like i am very good at putting myself off and waiting but that's just like my spirit but i think that has a lot to do with like my ego and me wanting to be liked and me wanting to feel like i'm being a good partner a good friend a good sister like i've always wanted to feel like i want people to feel like i'm doing my best in those roles that i do hold so i go above and beyond <laughs> sorry people will love me and care for me and still respect me I want to be connected with me even if I don't like put myself to the side so much all the time like I had to talk myself into getting these two and this is like $4.97 and like this is like let's just round up this is like $10 like I have a hard time spending $5 on myself, y'all, $10 on myself. And I also realized that it has a lot to do with my relationship with money because a lot of times I guess I just feel like, oh, I need to hold on. I need to hold on. I need to hold on. When no, that's not true. Like you have to feel safe and confident that when what you spend, you will get back. Like holding on to money, like tightly, like, oh no, I can't, I can't. That's a fear. That's fear. That's a lack mindset. Like you have to get the things that you know you want and need and know that the universe, God will provide for you and you will be able to get those things again or get something else. Like I had to learn that the the flow of money is important. Uh, it comes and it goes. It's not a representation of who you are as a person. It's not a representation of anything. I could have, whether I have $2 in my account or I have $2,000 in my account, I'm still the same re, you know? It's not, I don't have to identify myself with my bank account. I am not my bank account. My bank account just is what it is, you know? It is. It is not me, but it is. So I just want to come to y'all and give y'all that little gem. Maybe you guys are uh, working on your relationships with money. I know I am. Um, sometimes I still get to the point where I feel like I'm that... Uh, I'm that young girl that's in college and I'm trying to do this and do that and my bank account is in the negatives because here I am a college student and boom I'm only getting paid once a month I'm a RA 
Y'all, when I was RA, I got paid 300 something dollars a month, once a month. And I had to live off that all month, all month. And at the time, yeah, I was an RA, so that was, I couldn't have like a second job or you weren't, you weren't supposed to have like a second job. So that was very interesting. Like my accounts was in the negatives of many days. And instead of me taking that and internalizing it and saying that is where I was, I made it out of that situation. Sometimes my mind tricks me and I think I, oh my gosh, if I don't act this certain way, I'm going to get back to that situation when that's not true. So something that helped me with my mindset around money, a book that helped me with that is You Are a Badass at Making Money. Y'all, that book changed my life when it comes to um, how I view money and Rich Dad Poor Dad. So those are two books that I've read so far that have changed my mindset tremendously. And I, once I finish my book that I'm reading now, I'm about to read, um, the what is it called? I think it's called The Millionaire Mindset. Yeah. So I'm excited. Uh, it is 2.01. I am hungry. So I'm about to make me something to eat and change into something more comfortable. And then uh, while I eat, I'm going to watch probably like either YouTube or Disney Plus. And then I'm going to do my pedicure. And while my feet are soaking, I'm going to read. Catch up on our travel vlog.
Come on, bun tutorial coming soon. Okay, y'all, so when I started, it was like two hours and something. I've gotten it down to 43 minutes and 29 seconds, but I'm still trying to figure out why is it 43 minutes and 29 seconds? Come on, a good 20 minutes, a little 20 to 25 minute vlog? Dang, I even take 30, but 43? Unacceptable. And this is just two days, like, okay. You're gonna have to go in here and you're gonna have to see what's not important. Everything's not important. Come on. You can't show 24 hours. You can't show all 48 hours of what you did. What is important? It's 1.37. Um, I'm gonna give myself another hour. Go see. 43 minutes, that's just... <sighs> I might need some caffeine. Alright, I can do this. I just hit my toe. It hurt. <sighs> okay. So, oh, I'm about to go wash my car. Got my tripod and everything. Taking y'all with me. Um, I hope nobody's over there. Every day we pass, I never see anyone over there. Hopefully, no one's thinking like me today. I'm looking for a snack right now. Just gonna grab these four Ritz crackers. I'll let it go. And I'm gonna grab a few pieces of gum. headphones so I can listen to my music while I'm singing. Okay, let's rock out. Quality is probably not that great. It's like a 6S or something like that. We're going to call it the car wash cam, so don't even sweet. I'm about to show y'all how dirty inside of my car is I don't even be riding people like that y'all I really it's really from walking across the grass and then tracking it in the car I swear it is and then I brought this because you know the run is still going around so I'm gonna sanitize the um the hose and the vacuum and I'm gonna start with cleaning the inside of the car because I just feel like 
that's the hardest part so let's roll i'm about to show y'all an outside view of how dirty the car is y'all in my defense i'm not dirty i just wait a long time before i clean my car out if i kept it up it wouldn't be this bad period Come on, we gon' cut some more. 